Back in 2016, an interesting research paper was published that, in some ways, revolutionized how forward-thinking strength coaches approach training their athletes, whether we're talking about football, basketball, or hockey players, for muscle growth. Whereas before, all we did was basically your typical bodybuilding style of relatively high volume routines. Long time under tension, feeling the burn, things like 4 sets of 10 or 3 sets of 12. Just so you know, there's nothing wrong with that, it has proven effective decade after decade. Having said that, the scientists who ran the study found something interesting. I'll walk you through the main points of this research paper. Don't worry, I'll make it very easy for you to understand. And then we'll get to the meat and potatoes, which is what does this information mean for your training and how you can use it to improve your sports performance. In the original study, there were 12 strength trained men who performed three sets of 12 reps at 60% of their back squat one rep max. The participants were divided into three groups. The first group did traditional lifting. Three sets of 12 reps taking two minutes between sets. Group number two performed cluster sets of four reps, meaning they completed four repetitions, rested 30 seconds, banged out another four reps, took a 30 second break again, and then finished with another four reps to round up their first set of 12. After which, just like the first group, they rested for two minutes before going into their second cluster, and so on and so forth. And the third group performed cluster sets of two reps, meaning that after every two reps they completed, they took 30 seconds off and continued to do so until they had 12 reps in the bag, after which they took two minutes off and then moved on to their second cluster of six doubles. That was the basic design of the study. Let's get right to the results because that's what we really want to know. In the traditional protocol, three straight sets of 12 reps, velocity and power declined significantly toward the end of the workout as the lifters got more and more tired. Whereas in both of the cluster groups, this decline was blunted. So what exactly does that mean? It means that when you take a longer set and break it down into smaller mini sets, clusters, even when using fairly short rest periods, your ability to move the bar with speed won't tank. You'll still get tired and your lifting performance will go down because of fatigue, but not too much. With the intro out of the way, let's talk about why exactly hypertrophy clusters are great for you. The big idea behind it is you can build strength and muscle without sacrificing your explosive abilities. Very important for athletes, right? Beyond that, I can think of at least three more major reasons to use hypertrophy clusters. Even though the original idea was to limit the negative effects on bar speed and power production caused by high volume bodybuilding routines, you actually end up doing more volume at a higher intensity than you would with traditional sets. To give you an example, just recently, one of my non-professional hockey clients finished his training cycle of 15 doubles in the barbell bench press using 90 second rest periods at 89% of his previous one rep max, which was tested four months ago. There's no way he could finish two sets of 15 reps at that same intensity. Let's run some quick math here to make this as clear as day so you really understand how big of a difference we're talking here. We'll assume your one rep max bench press is 245 pounds today. Fast forward a few months where you're training hard and pushing your numbers up using a mix of hypertrophy cluster sets and other strength building methods. You end up completing 15 doubles at 215 pounds, which is 88% of your previous max. That means your total volume is 6,450 pounds. However, if you were to do two sets of 15 reps with the heaviest weight possible, resting up to five minutes between efforts, you're looking at around 180 pounds, which is 73% of your one rep max. In this case, your total volume is 5,400 pounds. That means you can do about 20% more volume with 15 sets of two compared to two sets of 15. That's big. Because if you can rack up more volume at a higher intensity, you're gonna get stronger and you're gonna grow muscle. Another benefit of hypertrophy clusters is that you have more opportunities to practice your setup getting onto the bar. Your setup is what makes or breaks a challenging set. When the bar is really heavy, the slightest deviation from optimal form or bar path will cause you to miss. In less experienced lifters, which many field sport athletes are, a breakdown in your technique, not your lack of strength, is the main reason you fail a max 
effort left. So if you're doing 10 sets of 4 instead of 4 sets of 10, then you get to tweak and solidify your technique over and over again, which is a must for internalizing great lifting form going into a 3RM or 1RM on test day. The next advantage of hypertrophy clusters is athletes just like them better. If you play any sport where you have to rely on short explosive actions, especially if you're any good at that sport, then you tend to be more fast twitch as an athlete. These individuals typically hate long sets and by long I mean anything above 8 to 10 reps. Sets of 15 or higher, forget it, it's pure torture. Whereas endurance athletes, cyclists, marathon runners, rowers are the exact opposite. They thrive on long sets of 15, 20 or more reps. So by using hypertrophy clusters, we're raising the level of enjoyment, if you will, for fast switch athletes. A lot of people overlook this because we are told that no pain, no gain, you shouldn't enjoy training, just plow through it, which is bollocks. The more you like what you do in the gym, the more you're going to buy into it. And the more you buy into it, the more effort you're going to put into it and the better your results will be. That's the short and sweet of it. Although few people know about this method, I believe hypertrophy clusters are an excellent way to train field sport athletes who have to get bigger and stronger while retaining their explosive qualities. At this point, I have to give a shout out to strength coach Jake Tura of Jacked Athlete. I first got introduced to this topic through his writings, which led to me diving into the published research before experimenting with hypertrophy clusters, first on myself and eventually my athletes. For a complete discussion on cluster training for strength and size, read chapter 17 in my book, Strength Training for Ice Hockey. It's up for grabs at hockeystrengthbook.com. Check it out right now. Thank you for watching. If you want more great training and nutrition tips like this, then hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.